Hello, today I want to talk about four habits that if put into practice can dramatically improve your life. And those habits revolve around money, food, physical activity, and mental activity. So let's get started. Habit number one, money. Okay, so no matter where you are in life, practically no matter how much you earn, we all have the potential to become very well off by the, the end of our life, by the time we're in our 50s, 60s, etc. And uh, you know, I came to Canada 22 years ago. My first five years I spent it as a student. So uh, in the next 16 years, I have been able to accumulate enough to almost retire. So I say almost because I haven't retired yet. I still don't have enough, but I'm very close. And all throughout this year, all these times, I have held low paying jobs. I have been a dance instructor, a photographer. I have been an Uber driver. At one time I was an Airbnb host, etc., etc. So none of these are high paying possessions, but due to the habits that I've been able to Hold during this time, all this time, then I have been able to accumulate enough that practically I, I can cover for my rent and for my food for the rest of my life. But some of these habits, what is it? Well, it's, it's mostly the spending and, and the magic formula is spend less than you earn and invest the rest. So uh, as far as investing, we have spoken about this before. I invest mostly in India index ETF, low cost index ETF, bro market, etc. That's the only, uh, if I had to talk about it fast, there are, what is it? One third Canada, one third US, and one third international. So that's my investment. Now, how do I spend less than I earn? Well, first of all, I avoid uh, what is called sin habits. For example, no nicotine. You know, every time you smoke a cigarette, if you smoke, you know it that you are burning money. But also the habits of alcohol. Well, I do think socially with friends. If I go to a barbecue, for example, I, I have a beer. But there is people who have what a couple of beers every night when they go to arrive from home after work. Or the habits of drugs. You know, the smoking drugs or doing drugs or whatever hard drugs or soft drugs you do it's just a waste of money so if you can avoid you know sometimes it's not easy to quit these things but if you keep it in your mind and you make an effort and you manage to quit these harmful habits for your health they also uh, they will benefit you a lot in your pocketbook the other thing about money habits is they stop keeping up with the Joneses. The Joneses, most of the things that they have is basically on credit. So you don't want to be that. I especially like people, uh, dislike when people uh, wear brand clothing, okay? Whatever the brand is, you know, you are being, you are paying for being the advertisers of somebody else's. So this is ridiculous. And the one thing that drives me crazy is the, the uh, cell phones, okay? So you you have a $1,000 iPhone and a $100 Android phone. Both of them, they do text, they do phone calls, they do Facebook, if that's what you like, or Instagram. So the difference between both of those phones is not that much, but one of them you are paying for that brand and the other one where you are not paying for that other brand so yes uh, i mean uh, nothing against apple they are geniuses in marketing but you don't have to pay for that okay so enough about money then the next thing is food okay so they are a hundred diets out there you every time you open your computer you there is a new diet being promoted but the, so you don't know which one to take, okay? That's okay. But there are uh, things that those diets have in common. For example, all of them advocate to give up 
soft drink so if you drink coke or pepsi or whatever you drink just don't do it anymore it's just full of sugar and it's just not good for your health health okay then the other things to give up are donuts chips sweets you know junk food is called junk food for a reason so if you can just eliminate junk food that will be 80 percent all the benefits in regards to diet and then if you can start dropping all this canned food and all this processed food and going more natural then that will be amazing your body will uh, be uh, so grateful for that okay so now the next habit i would like to talk about revolves around physical activity our bodies are made to move our bodies are not made to sit on the couch like i'm sitting right now or to sit in front of a computer or to be sitting down in an automobile our bodies are made for walking or doing just random physical stuff so if you manage to put 20 minutes of physical activity even just as simple of going for a walk so if you manage to work for 20 minutes every day you have done 80 percent of the requirement movement that you that you need and this could what uh, build your immune system so you will be less sick put you in a good mood so people would like to be around you and maybe uh, maybe you can get a raise just because you are a nice person and it will add years to your life you you it will increase your longevity so whatever 20 minutes a day you add now it will be paid back to you for extra minutes in your life now the next habit is it turn revolves around mental activity okay so most of us already quit uh, our college and we are adults we are in the job market so we are not that interested in learning but if you just devote yourself to reading 10 pages per day of instructional books motivational books books that have something to teach you if you just do that 10 pages per day is it's basically half an hour reading if you do that you may not feel a benefit today tomorrow or the week after but after a year that builds up to anywhere between 12 to 15 books and you will start feeling smarter and you can analyze ideas more complex ideas and you can express them as well and that will also pay huge dividends in whatever industry that you work on you will be able to express yourself better and and just this capacity to understand and express ideas is just of an amazing benefit so this is it my friends four habits to start this year habits around money habits around the food that we eat habits around physical activity and habits about mental activity please write in the comments whether you, this you could add or, or take off some of these habits and let me know your opinion and please subscribe